Hello, uh, welcome back. Uh, if this is your first time here, or if you're a returning visitor and you have not done this, I need you to do a couple of things. I need you to hit the like button. I need you to hit the subscribe button. I need you to hit the bell notification icon to be alerted anytime I post new content. And I need you to tell a friend, share this far and wide. Get the word out there. Help me out. Um, so... A couple of days ago, I posted on um, Instagram a reel uh, talking about uh, an upcoming project that I've got and one that I am going to be starting uh, tonight, um, giving a little preview of what's to come, explaining it more. Um, so in 2020, viewers of this channel will know that in the summertime, I posted a video or a series of videos where I read off um, some profiles of the candidates that I'd written the previous summer uh, about what I thought about the Democratic primary field, pros and cons with each candidate, and kind of saw how that analysis panned out about a year later. I'm deciding to do that again, but starting it earlier, uh, and you'll see the progression of the videos. Um... It won't be a weekly thing, it won't be a, you know, it might not even be a monthly thing, but it'll be a a drip-by-drip drip look at the Republican field uh, for president, because that's the only field that's going to have a competitive primary. Um, I will post uh, videos this time, though, um, about the incumbent president, President Biden, and what I think are his strengths and weaknesses at that point in the campaign, um, and how I see it playing out from there. Uh, so, this will be a long process um, as we go from uh, now to November of 2024 um, and Election Day and sparsed in there uh, when we get to uh, Senate races. Um, I'll have uh, my traditional uh, analysis of the Senate races. Uh, that's becoming a tradition. I did it uh, for every single Senate race in 2020, and I plan on doing it again for every single Senate race in 2024. Um, so, we'll get that out there. Um, luckily this time I won't have to contend with runoffs, uh, because Georgia's not having a Senate race this time. Although, and I don't think Louisiana is either, so. No, Lu Louisiana does not have a Senate race this time either. Uh, so, this will be straight, um, up, uh, this control of the Senate, uh, will be decided on election night 2020. Uh, we may not know the result on that night, uh, but we will, um, it will come to an end on that night. I won't have to post any, like, update videos. Um, so, um, in the coming days, I will post a, uh, Trump video and a Biden video. Um, looking at the race right now, um, I think we're heading for a rematch. Uh, it will be the first time since 1956, and it's not that uncommon. Uh, it has occurred before. Uh, as I said, 1956 was a rematch. Um, it had the same result as 1952. 1900 uh, was a rematch. It had the same result. 1892 was a rematch. It had a different result. Um... 1840 was a rematch. It had a different result. 1828 was a rematch. It had a different result. Um, 1800 was a rematch. It had a different result. If you really want to stretch it and say 1792 was a rematch, it was a rematch. Same result. So, it has happened. Um, I think if Trump's the nominee, the Republicans lose, and possibly lose by a larger margin than they did in 2020. Um, I will explain this in the Trump video. I will explain why I think he's a weak candidate for the Republicans. I will also talk about what I think his strengths could be uh, going into this election that he didn't have in 2020. Uh, and... They're, they're quite 
I think, noticeable if you spend any time online. Uh, so we'll uh, discuss that in the Biden video. I will discuss why, you know, I think he's in a good position at the moment and how he could be in a more vulnerable position. Um, I make no hidden biases unknown. Uh, I am supporting the president for re-election. Um, so, but I try to give a fleshed out, non-biased view of the race. Uh, so, uh, buckle up. Um, it's the most exciting time uh, of the year. The presidential election is about to get underway in a really big way in the coming weeks. And I couldn't be more excited because this is about the future of our country. I will see y'all all in the coming days and I look forward to posting these videos.